My sister's life is falling apart and I am happy. I, 40F, have been a long time lurker on Reddit. Never shared my story. This is a typical Reddit story you will hear. But I wanted to scream it to the world. Thank God, for Reddit. So, my sister, 43F, Ursula, yes I am using a villain's name, has always made my life a living hell. She is extremely manipulative and a narcissist. Ursula will be nice to me when she needed anything but then will ignore me. Growing up I always thought that we were really good sisters. We did not have the typical sister fights of one being jealous of the other. Now as an adult when I think about it, I think she has hated me. She would always give me backhanded compliments like your face looks better with your glasses. Or you have a boy crush. I thought you were a lesbian, I used to be a tomboy. Growing up I always strived to be like her. She was everyone's favorite. She was helpful and kind. Or at least that's how she made us believe. She would always make me feel insecure about my looks and people I date. The first boyfriend I had when I was 17. She made me believe that he was not good for me blah blah. I broke up with him. I know my fault. I moved out of state for college. My sister went to business school while I studied engineering. I would come home from holidays and would still have to hear all her backhanded compliments. When I was 21, I started dating my ex-husband, Jordan. My sister wasting someone else at that time so I guess her focus didn't fall on Jordan. Also Jordan was not her type. We dated for three years and tied the knot. For four years I have been happy with my life. During that time my sister announces she is pregnant. We all thought she got pregnant by her then-boyfriend, Remy. One day, I went to visit her and bring some food for pregnancy. She gave me a key to her place and I went inside without knocking, I had permission from her. The surprising thing I saw was Jordan's shoes outside. I went inside her bedroom because I was feeling a bit suspicious. And yeah you guessed it. They were fucking but naked. Long story short, I divorced Jordan. I was still in pain and very devastated. My parents supported me but their focus shifted way more towards my sister and Jordan. Yes, she was pregnant with his child. It was painful to see them together. I never got a sorry from either of them, they were like shit happens. I moved away from home. Eight years ago, I got a contract to work in England. I moved there. It was a fresh start of my life. I met Peter who was a single dad. We fell in love and got married and have a son together. I don't have contact with my sister. I have very low contact with my dad who gives me all the insight. Jordan and Ursula got married and had two more kids. That's all I knew about them until recently. Jordan cheated on Ursula. And they are having a nasty fight. The cherry on top is that two of their kids is not Jordan's. So Ursula hasn't been faithful at all. My dad told me it is a mess, Jordan, and Ursula will get a divorce but she is pressing for alimony. I hung up the phone and made myself a drink. I am glad I am thousands of miles away from all that drama. My mom had called me too and said that she needs me. I am not sure if I will go or not. As much as I enjoy seeing Ursula's life going to hell, I am not sure if I want to engage in that drama. Edit. Since people are curious and want to know everything, I wanted to add more details. My sister was cheating on Remy. Remy was a really sweet guy, he was very devastated when she heard my sister is not pregnant with his child rather it was Jordan's. Remy moved on and had a wonderful wife afterwards. I still follow him on Instagram. My parents were mad at Ursula. But she is manipulative which convinced everyone that Jordan coerced her and that he would divorce me if she didn't have sex with him. She made it seem like she is saving my marriage by fucking my husband lol. Classic. I got married in London. My relatives couldn't come because of the long distance but my father did. Mom couldn't come because at that time she had a back surgery. Edit 2. Editing again because people have this misconception that my parents were bad. No they were not bad. They were normal human. I also understand they were in a tough spot. I mean you can't just expect a parent to choose between two kids. Besides, they were going to be grandparents and cannot leave my sister alone. Yes she is a witch. But they never let her get scot-free. My parents supported me in my divorce and paid for my post-divorce therapy. They cannot cut off Ursula entirely because she was pregnant. My dad and mom have a strained relationship with her and Jordan. They haven't disowned them because of their kids. My dad refused to walk Ursula down the aisle at her wedding which I did not attend. I did kept them in contact after I moved to England. They were supportive of me. The reason my mom couldn't come to my wedding, as I mentioned she had a back surgery. My mom is in her 60s. So she has a lot of health issues. My dad attended. My mom hardly could fly but she did visit me after my honeymoon. She was devastated because she couldn't meet my son because flying was difficult and then we had COVID. I am going to my hometown for some business. I would have gone either way regardless of the phone call. I haven't seen my mom and dad for four years now. I miss them. I do hate my sister but I do not hate my parents. Update. 
So, I have landed on the soil of my home country with my husband and son. My mom and dad received me from the airport. I was so happy to meet them after so many years. Their faces look pale as if they haven't eaten or slept for a long time. My mom was happy to meet my husband and kid. Especially my kid because she hasn't met him. I asked them not to tell my sister that I am here. I am only here for few weeks and then I will be gone. I am currently staying with my aunt. Now on to some insights about my sister. My mom said she is living with her along with her kids. I got some details on my sister. She was having an affair with her former boss who is married and those two kids are actually his. My sister got a beating from the boss's wife. From what I am hearing the company her boss works in actually belongs to boss's father-in-laws. So yeah her boss is going to be jobless. And my sister has switched jobs way before this happened but the affair continued. But because of all this drama she is literally on the edge to lose her new job too because the company's owner is good friends with boss's wife. So you can imagine the kind of quicksand she put her foot to. Jordan has quit his job too. Because he is adamant on not paying my sister alimony and not wanting to pay child support for the kids that belong to the boss. He will be suing the boss for child support as well. They constantly fight a lot. Jordan is probably going mad because of it, according to my mom. And he was also having an affair with his co-worker. My mom wants to kick my sister out but because of her kids she cannot. She hates her but she doesn't want to punish her kids because they are innocent. Honestly, I feel bad for those kids too. They do not deserve such mess of parents. Also just so you know, my parents aren't bad. They have supported me a lot. The only reason they still talk to my sister Ursula because of her kids. I feel bad for mom because she only has few days and along with her illness she probably will be too sick to deal with this. I know my sister will somehow know I am here but I am prepared for that as well. I do not want to see her because I know I will be dragged into her drama. But I will enjoy few weeks I have with my husband and kid.